Okay, so now we're back and we have our projects uh, kind of set up like this, right? We've added our um we've added our cocoa pods and created, you know, we did our pod install and all that good stuff. We've added the frameworks to our app and created the executable. But let's go back to here, our Firebase console. So now that we've added our SDK using CocoaPods, we're gonna go back here, go next. And now we need to add this code, right? In Swift UI, you know, it's a little different in Swift, right? This is what it looks like in Swift. You add this to our app delegates, but now we need to add this to our, um, our main file and also create an app delegate in there. So I want you to understand this. In Swift UI, there's not an app delegate that comes with it. You have to, if you need app delegate functionality, you have to go ahead and create it. And that's kind of what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go here. And when I say the main file, this is our content view, but there's a file that that um, basically references our content view. It's where everything starts in this project. And it is here. As you can see, window group content view. It's referring to this, okay? And this is where everything starts. So what I'm gonna now gonna do, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to import this. Import Swift UI and a Firebase core and add this um, app delegate and the app delegate function, right? Um, this function, of course, is um, it's it's a function that conforms to the you know, UI app application delegate protocol. This is a protocol. And then we're gonna call this Firebase function, Firebase app dot configure, which is a static function of Firebase app. Um, so let's go ahead. Again, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go over here, right? And up here, just like this, above the main, we're gonna paste this. We're gonna paste this. Um, we're gonna overwrite the Swift UI code. And there we go. We have this. But now there's another little line of code that goes right here, right? At line 25, right? And it is this, this right here. You are application delegate adapter, right? And so, and um, of course, uh, I don't know where um, contents copy I don't understand what the heck this is, right? Content copy, that doesn't belong in there. That's something that somehow got copied. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my, my clipboard, right? Um, yeah, that was weird. But um, regardless, this is how we are going to initialize our, um, our analytics. And let's go ahead and do a command B to build. And the build succeeded. But, you know, the litmus test is this, right? So we want to know if, um, so a lot of times I'm just gonna give you like, um, kind of like a little brief, Thing. I'm going to go here next. We're going to continue to the console now. Okay. Now we're in the console. We go to analytics dashboard. Okay. Which like has nothing, right? There's nothing, no, no type of user interaction, no nothing, right? Now I'm going to give you a warning that when you set this up, chances are you're not going to have uh, any feedback. You might not even have any feedback for the first 24 hours, but there's a way to tell whether this is connected and it's set up, right? 
So we're gonna do this by we're gonna um enter a an event and uh we're gonna ha have this event called on um button click, right? So let's go back to our content view. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to import, we need to import um Firebase Analytics, right? Um, import Firebase Analytics. Okay, so that shows that yes, we do have access to our frameworks. Now I created a button here. Let's go ahead and click this button. For some reason, our preview is like really BSing with me right now, right? It is not, this thing is not showing. But when we do a build, we should be able to see um, our button and all that other good stuff. It's taking a minute. There we go. And hopefully after this, this build, it will not take so long. Right, so here we are. There we go, we're built and we can press this button. And as you see, tap, tap, tap. But that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to do, um, and we want to do um, something. So what we want to do is we want to initialize an event. And in a nutshell, and I'm going to get deeper into this, an event is basically something that you can track, right? You press a button and analytics will keep track of it, right? Now, of course, uh, the its uses um, are more sophisticated than that, but this is like super simplified, um, basically super simplified application of analytics just to get you familiar with it. And we can demonstrate whether we are connected or not because we might not be connected, right? So let's go ahead. I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to put in some code analytics dot log events right and what we're going to have a name i'm going to name this i'm just going to call this event name i use snake case okay event name not in bang name okay event name parameters which is string any object i'm going to say string string Okay, and we're, I'm just gonna call this um, param, call this uh, param button click. Click an event uh, combination of snake case and camel case, uh, button click. And I'm to say, I'm clicked. You know, you no, I would never do this in real life. Okay. This is just for example sake, right? And now let's see if if Firebase registers it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to look into our console right here, right? And we should be able to see if anything is registered. So what we're gonna look for, we're gonna look for something that says analytics enabled. Analytics screen reporting is enabled. That's the way to tell if we're connecting in the short term, right? Over after a, I guess a 24 hour period, you should be able to start seeing your click events in your console, right? So Let's go ahead and let's build and run. So now I'm going to click the here. And let's see, and absolutely nothing, right? Nothing. So let me pause this. Okay, my bad. So um, I didn't notice this. Analytics 
screen reporting is enabled. So this means that we are connected, right? And another thing that makes it, this shows that we're connected is this. Now I, I can't find our event, but analytics dashboard, right? Um, and as you can see right here, one user in the last minute, 17 minutes ago, this is us right here, one user. We are the one user, right? So um, um, Google Analytics is connected, you know, um, let's see if, we, if we've logged an event yet, which we have not, right? So, um, and again, that can take up to 24 hours. But um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into some practical examples of setting up, um, you know, Google Analytics and events. And then, um, yeah, we can go ahead and really start using our analytics to make our app more valuable, to bring in more users. And um, so we can see what works and what doesn't work, right? Um, yeah, analytics is very powerful. And on some level, all of the most popular apps on that are in the world use some type of analytics. So yeah, um, on to the next.